Hi Japan lovers! As I promised on my Facebook page, today I'm gonna show you how to prepare Ichigo Daifuku, which are mm, strawberry rice cakes. They're a typical Japanese sweet. They're very simple to make, in fact, this was my very first time making them, but I'm pretty happy with the result and they were actually delicious. So let's get started. For six Ichigo Daifuku, you will need six strawberries, 100 grams of rice flour, 120 grams of anko, sweet red bean paste, 40 grams of sugar, 120 cc of water. First of all, wash the strawberries and dry them carefully. Remove the stems just like this. And voila! All the strawberries are nice and clean. Now divide the anko in six equal portions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now it's time to put together the strawberries and the anko. Make a bowl of anko and just place one strawberry on top of it. Anko is very sticky, so the strawberry will just adhere immediately. Carefully rub the strawberry with anko. Don't forget to leave the tip of the strawberry uncovered for a cuter effect, just like this. Just repeat the process until you finish all the strawberries and the anko. Now it's time to prepare our dough. Just mix with a wire whisk the rice flour and the sugar. Now start to add water in the mix, little by little. In the end, you should obtain a smooth and pretty liquid butter, just like this one. Pour the butter in a pan over medium or medium-low heat. Stir the butter with a spatula. At some point, the butter will start to become harder. Keep working it until you get this gluey, sticky ball, just like this, you see? It's done. Now put the dough on a surface sprinkled with potato starch. The dough must be hot. Don't let it cool down or you won't be able to work it anymore. Now stretch the dough just a little bit, like this. Cut the dough in six equal pieces. Um, you can use scissors as I'm doing here. Work each piece to give it a more regular shape. Take one strawberry anko ball and place it on the dough. 
with the tip facing down. Now stretch the dough around it. The dough is very elastic, so you can work it until you obtain a thin and translucent layer. Cut away the exceeding dough with scissors or with anything else. And the first Ichigo Daifuku is ready. Repeat until you finish all the ingredients. Now sprinkle them with a little bit of potato starch and mission completed! Now you have six sweet and juicy Ichigo Daifuku. I hope you enjoyed the recipe and let me know if you make Ichigo Daifuku. See you next time! Bye bye! Thanks for watching!